So I'm tuning in to say, I gotta tell y'all this. I haven't told anybody this. It's it's very, it's very painful to say, very hurtful to say. Um, and I picked something up to help me out with it. And I'ma just say it now. I don't want y'all to think anything, like be scared. I don't want y'all to, you know, I don't want y'all to be worried for me. I really don't. I don't want y'all to hit me up feeling sorry for me. I don't want y'all to do none of that. So I have something to help me out with this health problem. Um, but okay, I'm gonna just tell y'all. I'm constipated. <laughs> nah, I really had to pick this up from my people, from my, my fellow black people. Um, she said to drink this because it's gonna cleanse me. It's gonna clear me out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, we gotta, we gotta clean. We gotta cleanse. But nah, for real though, for real. Let me, matter of fact, let me taste it right now so I can see how it tastes. This definitely gonna cleanse me, cause this shit is disgusting. It's called raspberry senna leaves. It tastes like hot sauce. Let me let me try one more time. It smell like literally, y'all. It smell like pickles. That's what it smell like, pickles. Well, at least I'ma um, be on the toilet, okay? Cause, oh my nails. Don't look at my nails. Do not talk about my nails. I need to get my nails done, okay? I haven't had time. <laughs> okay, for real. But I'm about to do this Q&A. Um, y'all see this? Do y'all see this live? <laughs> I know y'all see it. You know, cause in my last video, I know y'all seen it. Y'all just didn't wanna say nothing. Ooh. So I'm about to do this q and I asked all of my IG followers and friends to send me any type of questions, crazy questions, funny questions, personal questions, any type of questions so y'all can get to know who the real Sherry Yon is. Yeah. So we gonna get that and let's get it. I had to put on a little lip gloss. You know, because I didn't want to be dusty. I'm already constipated. I didn't want to be even more embarrassed than I am now. But fuck it. We, we just going to get right into it. So I got my Instagram questions up. They asked questions. So we going to... Sorry. I need one more sip. I'm going to call this the doo-doo drink. Because... I am so I think I have issues at this point I'm just self sabotaging myself okay I'm gonna let y'all know when that kick in okay we got the first question let me let me pull them up let me pull them up okay so the first question how long have you been singing I heard since I was like six because my aunt said she discovered me singing on the toilet think I was singing, call Tyrone. I think you better call Tyrone. Hey, call him and tell him come on. Help you get your shit. But yeah. So yeah, I would say since I was like six, Um, but I recently fell into my, my sound, I would say about three years ago. Yeah, I sort of found my voice. I found the start of my voice about three years ago. But I've I've auditioned for American Idol, The Voice. One, I was young. I wasn't really developed. Two, to this day, I probably would never audition again just because I don't 
I don't want to go down that path. I kind of want to mold myself into an artist that I would want to be portrayed as. The next question is, how is the change of scenery treating you? So as I told y'all before, I just moved to Atlanta, Georgia. Um, the scenery honestly is not much different from where I lived before in Chicago. Um, just because it's still like a suburb to me. It's just more of a down south type suburb. It's pretty chill, you know what I'm saying? I, I, be, I be just be doing me anyway. What is your love language? <laughs> Shit, all of them, all of them. I need all the love language. Like, I need physical touch. I need gifts. I need words of affirmation. I need all of them. But no, nah, on a serious note, like, honestly, I feel like my love language changes over time for some reason. I don't know if that's normal, but I feel like my love language changes. Like, I think right now it's physical touch, damn i think it's quality time and gifts like but then i like words of affirmations too like i love to be like told certain things about me or told that i'm cared about or told that i'm loved or told that this person is into me you know told that i'm beautiful you know stuff like that but then again i love tokens of appreciation you know what i'm saying so I don't know. I feel like I all of the love languages are my love language. You know what I'm saying? Because shit, why not have it all? So, um, <laughs> if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? This is about to sound so stupid, but I want to go to Timbuktu. Like y'all ever hear like it's always people say it in the movies. Oh, all the way to Timbuktu. Like Timbuktu is just this this thing that's been said. And movies and sayings and everything. I want to see what it's about. Like, why y'all make Timbuktu like this famous quote? Like, I don't understand. So I want to see what Timbuktu is about. You know what I'm saying? Oh, other than that, I really don't know where I, where I really want to go. Just because I haven't been. I don't really travel much. So. Uh. Oh. <laughs> the doo-doo juice. <laughs> Let me try to move on. What is your favorite designer brand? Honestly, I don't even wear designer. I ain't gonna say like in the future, I'm not gonna continue wearing it because once I, you know, get financially right, like where I can buy whatever I wanna buy and not have to hurt, of course I'm gonna be rocking designer, who wouldn't? But right now I don't rock designer. Like if I have gym shoes or something, I'll wear like Adidas or Nike or I'll go to Akira or H&M, Forever 21, stuff like that. Because you could still look cute on a budget. You know what I'm saying? I don't got to do too much, no way. I'm, I just be doing me. Cardi B or Nicki Minaj? She, both of them. You know what I'm saying? I think Cardi and Nicki are both great artists. They both, they both running the game right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Why well, put two females against each other i hate when people do that not only do i not like being compared but i hate putting comparisons on two black females it's just i don't i don't like that so why can't people just be great and not be compared but unfortunately that's what society does they put us against each other so but cardi and nikki shit they're both great let's see <clears throat> what made you become an artist I don't think I became an artist. I feel like me growing into my artistry automatically made me become who I'm becoming. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't just say, oh, I'm gonna be an artist. I feel like I always had that inside of me. Pause. <laughs> I feel like I always held that. Like, I was born with it, basically. You know what I'm saying? We all have our gifts. We all have our passion that we find over time and I just happen to be able to, what's the word, grow into my artistry. So to answer that question anyway, um, probably just because I love writing music, I found my voice. Yeah, and I'm good at what I do. I'm good at the way I do things. I'm good at what I write about, I'm good at the way I sing. You know what I'm saying? I just have my own little, my own little thing going on. So I wanted to continue to keep putting out content so that I can grow with you guys and you all can, you know, follow me on my journey and witness all the 
good creativity that I put out from here on out. So yeah. Um. Oh my God, I hate this question, bro. Are you mixed? I mean, I'm mixed with my mom, my dad. I'm mixed with a little bit of sugar, a little bit of spice, a little bit of everything nice, you know what I'm saying? But not on a, on a serious note, when, why do everybody ask me that? Is it because like, I don't know, I feel like I look black. I am I love my black people, I, that's all I rep, black. I'm black, black is in me, black made me, you know what I'm saying? So I'm black, you know what I'm saying? I love being black. And just because you got a lighter shade of brown don't mean you ain't black, so let me be black. I'm proud to be black. Black is beautiful. But no, I'm not mixed. From my understanding, I'm not mixed. I'm just black. I'm mixed with black. You know what I'm saying? Just got a little bit of cream. You know what I'm saying? And my melanin. I'm black. So, the next question. What gets you excited? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why I just got excited. I feel like anything gets me excited, bro. Like I could get excited over the most simple things. If somebody gives me a hug, I get excited. If somebody says, oh, you're so pretty, I get excited. If somebody says hi to me, I get excited. You know what I'm saying? I'm just an excited person, I don't know. And it also gets me excited to just um, complete goals, complete small goals that I planned that really gets me excited on a serious note. When I finish something that I start, I get super excited. What makes you happy? That's honestly a deep question. I'm not even gonna lie. Because I could say something simple. Um, making a good song makes me happy. Um, ice cream, oh my God. How could I forget ice cream, bro? Skip everything I just said. Skip every single thing I just said. What makes me happy? Ice cream, bro. If anybody knows me, you can take me to an ice cream place. Boy, I'm going to cry because I love ice cream that much. I eat ice cream every day. If I go to a restaurant and I'm full, if I'm about to get sick to my stomach because, of, because I ate too much, guess what? I'm still going to make some room for ice cream and I'm going to be good. Like, ice cream... Oh, oh, it just oh, makes me, make so, me happy, so happy, bro. bro. I, swear I swear to God. God. I swear, ice cream makes me happy. So skip all that deep talk right now. Maybe when I figure out some deep answers, I will get to you. But ice cream makes me happy. But if I do want to go on a deeper level, what also makes me happy is being able to express myself, being able to um, complete goals that I've set. When I see progress, that makes me happy. When people enjoy what I put out into the world, that makes me happy. When other people are happy, I'm happy. And if I'm benefiting others by creating that happiness within them, I'm happy. All right, enough of that deep talk. When is your birthday? My birthday, even though I said it in my intro video, my birthday is December 4th, 1872. <clears throat> what irritates you the most? Before I say this, I gotta drink some more of the doo-doo juice. couple things that irritate me the number one pet peeve that I have is when so I'm sure a lot of other artists can relate but let's say you showing somebody something let's say let's say I created a song right and I'm like and someone asks me to listen to it somebody asks me like oh can I hear what you just did and I'm playing it right and the whole time they just talking they just Oh yeah, this you? Yeah, that's me. You know, the song's still playing, right, Day? Oh, when you record this? Oh, what made you write this? Oh, where you get the beat from? Oh, when you putting it out? Oh, is it? Would you just listen to the song? How you gonna ask me to listen to it? And you talking the whole time. Like, I just hate when people don't listen. Like, they always gotta put their two cents in. Or, if they don't say anything after they after you show them something you created. I feel like the top thing that irritates me the most is when I do not get a text back after you clearly asked for my number and you clearly wanted my attention and I'm texting you, right? And you wanna act like you don't see my text when you ask for my attention. 
that's a no-no that's a no-no you know what i'm saying i'm just sick of it i'm just sick of it passive aggressiveness is also something that irritates me the most i'm sure y'all know what passive aggressiveness is if somebody's hungry but they don't blatantly say they're hungry they just be like oh man like that look good and you sitting there eating like you know enjoying your food they look at you like oh man that look good and i'm still eating man i wish i had me some of that da, 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 da. but not saying you're freaking hungry bro just say you're hungry i don't understand like i don't read minds so i hate when people expect me to read their mind what makes me sad when i don't feel appreciated or i don't feel loved or i don't feel that i'm good enough or if i expect something and i don't get what i expected that that kind of i wouldn't say makes me i guess that's more of discouraged but yeah i guess that still makes me sad or if i'm attached to something or someone and it's taken away from me um i'm just sad like that's a sad thing so that makes me sad when are we going out to party unfortunately i have retired from the hot girl summer um phase i'm no longer a hot girl i was actually i was never a hot girl i'm not gonna lie i was never a hot girl but i did go out i mean i went out in college i went out every now and then but I'm just not into the party scenes no more. Like I'm not into the club scenes. When I do go out, I have fun, but I guess my mind is more focused on the bag, getting to the bag, getting to the money, um, completing my goals, getting this music done. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot that I have to focus on. Like I have fun, but it's always just these different energies in the air. Like uh, I gotta watch my surroundings. I gotta watch my drink. I gotta do this. I gotta not do that. And I gotta watch out for this person. Like it's too much to worry about. So when I get to this money, then I'ma just throw my own parties. Cause I know I'ma be safe at my own parties. So, but sooner than later, you know, we can go out for a drink or two. What size shoe do I wear? So in boys, I wear a five and a half, which is a seven or seven and a half in women. My feet are pretty average. Um, they're not too small. I don't think I have small feet, but apparently to most people that's small, but I've seen some small feet. So the next question is, whoo, I'm sad. What is your dream business? Besides myself being my business, I want to open up an ice cream parlor. Y'all already know my favorite snack is ice cream. <laughs> and ice cream makes me happy. So I'm gonna open up me an ice cream parlor, you know what I'm saying? Why not? Another one of my um, dream businesses is I want to open up a studio with all female engineers. Um, Cause female engineers matter too. I got a degree in audio engineering and I mix and master my own music. So I wanna open up a studio, a recording studio um with all female engineers no men allowed you can come give us business you know what i'm saying run me your coins but i want all my my fellow female engineers rocking with me you know what i'm saying so one day one day it's looking like these are all the questions and some of them hella typos in them but i'm supposed to drink half of this but i'm only at this much so uh, That's my cue to um, end this video now. Make sure y'all like, make sure y'all subscribe. I ain't got an outro or intro yet, but it's coming soon. I'm trying to let y'all hop on the bandwagon real quick. So what I say, eh, what I say, eh, eat my ass.